Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm doing a special video to me, I guess. I'm doing the Swedish IKEA. Well, not all of these are from IKEA, but most of them are from IKEA. So Swedish snacks. So fun fact about me, I'm actually half Swedish on my mother's side. I went to Sweden back when I was about 13 years old. So I've tried a few of these things. So without further ado, let's get tasting these snacks. Pick these up at IKEA. They have a little, like a lolly section. I'm not too sure what these are exactly. They look like little... I think they're like caramel balls. They're quite hard and chewy. Wow, they're really tough. Not a big fan of these, to be honest. Yeah, they're like, like caramel balls. Yeah, too tough for my liking. Got saliva going everywhere. Official rating, just from that one bite. Not the best, to be honest. 5.3 out of 10. Okay, so up next we've got Kex biscuits. So these are quite common. You see these in IKEA stores. Yeah, this is the IKEA brand. So I've never tried these before, so let's bust them open. Oh, they have the peel tab, but not the best peeling skills there. So they're in different uh, letters. So we've got, looks predominantly like K's, N's, I guess it's just the alphabet, lots of A's, but... Oh, it smells like ginger. It's a mix between a savoury type biscuit and a sweet biscuit. It's more on the gingery like a pepper carcal. Yeah, it's kind of like a pepper carcal, but instead of the round typical shape, it's in these, I guess, fun, fun letter form. Yeah, I'd say more more of a savoury flavour than your typical pepper carcal, but not a bad little snack, nothing nothing to write home about. Official rating on these is a 6.4. Okay, so up next we've got a beverage, we've got Padron Cider, so that's pear drink, it's like a fizzy pear drink. Now this is actually alcoholic, so it's 0.1% alcoholic, you're not going to be getting crazy off this, but this is the IKEA brand. It's not cold, and it, it's actually made in Sweden, so let's bust it open. Yeah, it's like an apple cider, but pear. It's, yeah, you don't taste the alcohol, alcoholiness. It's quite sweet. Definitely has a, a pretty strong pear flavor. It's not overly sweet. Yeah, it's a nice pear flavor. Quite enjoy it. Pretty good. Official rating on this cider Padron is a 7.2 out of 10. So I'm excited for these. These are one of the best Swedish snacks of all time. We've got the dime chocolate. So what these are, these are the smaller individually wrapped ones. You can get longer blocks. So these are like salted caramel chocolate, so good. So let's bust these open. It's actually owned by Mondelez. Mondelez picks up all the big sort of confectionery brands. So yeah, they come in, there's like 200 individually in these packets. So these are so good, pretty addicting. So this is what they're like. Little chocolates. Let's see if we can get a close up on that. Yeah, that's so good. So it's got that caramel inside, slight saltiness, just the right amount of saltiness, and got that smooth milk chocolate, crunchy, super good. Official rating on these bad boys, 8.4. I think we've got another Ikea snack here. See, these are some chips. What's it called? Festlit brings flavor to the party. Potato crisp with salt. I can actually speak a bit of Swedish, but I haven't been doing my lessons on Duolingo recently. It's not sponsored by Duolingo, but yeah, my Swedish has gone downhill a bit. A few moments later. You always have some difficulty with these snacks videos opening the snacks. All right, here we go. Oh, let's get a close up on that. It's it's quite a light, puffy chip. Yeah, it's a different, it's, it looks like an actual potato crisp, like you've just peeled it. More healthy tasting for sure. The, in terms of flavor, because it's just lightly salted, it's like a, like a Smith's original chip, just just your plain salted chip, no special seasoning. 
but a lot more potatoey, more natural, healthy tasting. So nothing too special about these at all. The official rating on these chips is a 6.6 .6 out of 10. So I'm excited for this one. So what we got here is, this is a full Swedish brand, no IKEA here. So this is, um, Bila means cars and sweet. So that says Sweden's most, yeah, they're in little cars. And this is salty licorice, by the way. So this, you either hate it or you sort of don't mind it. Oh, it smells like licorice with, yeah, you can smell some of that salt coming through. So little car looking things. That's actually a lot more pleasant than the one I tried in Sweden. I remember my mother's cousin, he bought me a packet of like the real salty, like full on salty licorice. And this is actually quite a lot more sweeter. Not, not so full on with the salt. The lollies, they're soft. Got a slight chew to them. This is actually, I think this is a real good balance between salty and sweet. It's not as yeah powerful as the other ones I've tried in Sweden. Not too bad, but most people probably won't like it. I don't mind it. Official rating, 6.2 out of 10. Okay, up next we have the OG of Swedish chocolate right here. This is Marabou. So this is the equivalent of Cabri in Australia. Really good quality chocolate. Everyone loves this stuff. So this is the original milk chocolate. As you can see, made in Sweden, we've got the king size. What I love about Marabou is this nice golden finish they have on the wrapper. It's like the, what's his name? Willy, Willy Wonka. Wonka. Yeah. Look, their tagline is, mmm, since 1916. This is some quality stuff right here. So let's bust this king size block open. Oh, like with Sweden, they, they're very good with their opening, like how they have the IKEA packed furniture. So that's like a nice opening way of method of opening right there. The chocolate design, typical squares, it's got that Marabou M engraved, I guess you could say. But enough with all that. Mm. That is some fine quality chocolate. To be honest, Marabou is my favorite chocolate I've ever had. It's creamy, milky. It kind of tastes similar to Cadbury, but I prefer the Marabou chocolate. Best milk chocolate I've tried. Next we have these Fersen Dummel, made in Finland. So these are spring edition of chewy toffee and chocolate. So what's interesting is it says taste of lime, but that looks like caramel using less taste them. I've never seen these before. I'm not sure if these are even full like a Swedish brand or like a Finnish one that gets imported to Sweden or what the goal is. So individually wrapped little packets here. Taste of lime. Real soft. Got that caramel. Oh wow. That, you do taste that lime for sure. This is quite nice. Very soft, not hard. That is quite nice. It's got a lime and like caramel, that chocolate outside. That surprised me. Yeah, you can definitely taste that lime and that caramel. That's quite a addicting little snack that yeah interesting combination of flavors but it goes well together these dummies surprise me official rating on these 7.4 out of 10 what we got next is these ginger cookies so kefir but i'm pretty sure this is pepper car or ginger cookie comes in this sort of packaging so that's what they look like so it looks like it's got little almond flakes see if we can get a some focus action on that. So, I've heard when I was in Sweden, there's a game you play and you've got to crack it into three and it gives you good luck or something with your knuckles. I've, I remember being pretty good at this, so let's give it a go. Oh, I got four, so I think that means I got bad luck. But let's taste it. Crunchy, got that ginger flavor. It's a quite a, quite a nice cookie. Yeah, definitely got that ginger flavor. Yeah, it's a classic with the Swedish desserts or I guess you'd say snacks. Yeah, not much else to say. Official rating on these, 7.1 out of 10. So what we got here is knackebröd. Now this is a typical sort of side dish. You'll have it with caviar, which is this right here. Or you can have it with dill, 
you can have it with hard boiled eggs. It's like a typical side dish that is very common in Sweden. So yeah, it's a rye, rye crisp bread. Let's bust it, bust it open. This is the IKEA brand. Look at these. This actually gives me a bit of nostalgia. Um, I remember my time in Sweden. Yeah, it's just, just a real grainy, textured crisp bread. So let's taste it. Yeah, very grainy. Now obviously you're supposed to try it with something, but on its own, it's quite nice. So now a good way to do it is with this Carlos Caviar. So I guess I'm gonna double it up here. Now, Carlos Caviar, this is the OG of Swedish brands. This is one of the most common Swedish brands. This is like the equivalent of Vegemite for Australia. What caviar is, pretty much fish eggs, fish roe. It's quite salty, fishy. <laughs> you need to poke, poke, poke it. So this is how we have to open it. This is not an ergonomic design. Oh, that'll, I guess that, that'll do. <laughs> 12 seconds later. Okay, so what we do, there it is. Now, with caviar, it's one of those things you either hate it or love it. So look at that. It's like a, a light pinkish, fishy, salty. We're just gonna spread it out here. It's so good and it goes well with knacka bread. Now, if you wanted to make this a bit more, step it up a bit, you could add some fresh dill, cut up some hard boiled egg, and that's like a typical Swedish sort of snack there. But let's try it with the knacka bread. That reminds me of spending time with my mumu and mufa, which is mother's father in Swedish. They used to whip this up for me. It's actually, it's actually quite nostalgic, this combination. So I'll rate the knacka bread on its own. It's a great base to add. Like you don't see this type of thing in Australia. And the official rating on the knacka bread is a 7.4. And Kalos Caviar, I, I absolutely love it. Some people like it, some people hate it. Official rating is a 8 out of 10. So what we got here is Lekker Roll. Now this is like a little sugar free. It's kind of almost like a soft version of a fisherman's friend. You just took sort of sugar free mint type of thing. Now I remember when I was in Hong Kong and I'd just been to Sweden, I picked up like every single flavor in Sweden. I had like 12 and I remember I lined them all up along the windowsill and I took a picture of it for some reason because I had like 12, I had like orange ones, all sorts of them. but. I'm not sure what flavor this is. So these are naturally sweetened with stevia, little soft gummies. This one's quite salty. It does have that strong like fisherman's friend type of taste. Mm, very chewy. These could be quite addicting to just sort of chew on. Yeah, so these come in a bunch of different flavors. Yeah, like I said, I got the, I don't know what that is. It kind of looks like a, almost looks like a Finnish word, but yeah, lacquer like roll. For the nostalgic reasons as well, I give it a 7 out of 10. What we got here are these chocolate biscuits. These are real nice. This is. Kefir up. Is memorable moments with life and biscuits. Biscuits with raspberry flavour. It looks like chocolate colour, but it says raspberry flavour. Yeah, you'll find these typically on a spread when you have like a. Maybe you have a fika, which is like a. Swedish coffee, cake break, you'll have like a Swedish cinnamon roll. But this is quite a typical thing. Actually made in Germany, so this is the IKEA brand of course. But you, you get all these, with the IKEA ones you'll have like the typical Swedish brand as well, but same sort of deal. Let's bust these open. Oh yeah, it definitely is raspberry. So it did look like chocolate, but if we can get some focus there. So that's a red raspberry colour and it's got that vanilla on the inside. Yeah, that is good. It's got that jam, that raspberry jam, and then it's got that nice creamy inside. Nice pastry. Goes together very well. It's probably better than a, an Arnott's biscuit. Yeah, real good. This would be good to get your, your girlfriend for like a sort of Valentine's gift. Got those nice love hearts. Official rating on these. 7.6 out of 10. Okay, so what we got here is a IKEA brand milk chocolate. So, chocolate use. That's a light, light milk chocolate. Made in Spain, this one. Yeah, so this is IKEA's 
take on like a Swedish chocolate. So let's just it open. I'm not expecting this to compete at all with the Marabou. So not as thick. It feels like it's not as good quality. Yeah, it tastes like that, like the grade below your premium chocolates. Like it's not bad chocolate. You can you can definitely munch on quite a bit of it. It's quite light, like it says milky, but it doesn't really have that rich, addictive, like premium taste of the marabou. So not bad. Official rating is a 7.4 out of 10. What we got here is the collab of all collabs. So what we had is the dime, the salted caramel goodness with the classic marabou chocolate. So this is real good stuff. When these two team up, you know shit's going down. Got the king size once again. And one thing you can see, if we can get some focus action, you can see that texture coming through. You can see like salted caramel goodness just poking out there. Oh, and let's see if we can get some focus action. You can see those salted caramel bits poking through there. Yeah, let's take a, take a bite. I've already tried this before, but real good. You get the best of both worlds. Best of that salty, caramel, crunchiness, mixed with that creamy marabou goodness. That is good stuff. I'm tempted to keep munching it, but I'm gonna give it, give it the quits there because I've had a lot. But official rating on the marabou, the Diamond Marabou collab, 8.8 .8 out of 10. What we got here, we left this to last in case it does smell a bit. So this is marinated herring with onions and carrot. Herring is a typical fish, a salty, almost slimy fish that can get a bad rap. Now there is surstrumming. Now what that is, that is the extreme of herring. It actually gets banned, like you can't take it on airplanes. It's kind of like durian. Yeah, you can't take it on airplanes. You can't take it in your, open it up in your apartment building. That is strong and it's actually quite a challenge, but this is a tamed down version. It's got a vinegar sort of and so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna bust it open. Now, I'm not fussy at all. I, I appreciate this stuff. I can't even really smell it unless you actually smell it. Yeah, it's got that vinegaryness. Now, what I'm gonna do, it's got some peppercorns. I'm going it looks quite not, not appetizing, but if you appreciate it, you'll like it. So, very delicate fish, quite fatty, slimy. It's got a peppercorn there in that vinegary sauce. Yeah, I'm just gonna, this does look pretty yuck, so let's give it a taste. Yeah, it's got a, a vinegary sauce. The fish itself, very smooth, soft, and but that's not the proper way to eat it. But you probably could eat small bits like that, but you do want to have it with something. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring out our friend, the trusty old knacker bird. Here we go. And what I might actually do, get our other good friend, Calais Caviar. Have the ultimate fish snack. Chef Gerald. Could also chuck on some dill, hard boiled egg. Hey, let's spread it out. And let's grab a piece here. Try and drain some of that liquid off. Okay. So this this definitely doesn't look appetizing at all. It is very yuck looking, but it's one of those things if you do appreciate it, you 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 like it. But with the knacker bird, it's gonna break it up and be a bit more of an enjoyable experience. I was wondering where the herring went because it's so slidey, it just like slid up my mouth. Hey, that's what she said. With herring, real popular in Sweden. It's accompanied as like a side dish, goes with main meals. You do get this strong sustruming, but with this here, Ikea one, it's quite pleasant. I don't mind it. Official rating on the herring there is a 6.4 out of 10. So we've concluded there, but we've got to do our top three. This is a new section I've added to the snacks videos where we do top three and we announce a winner. So in third place, we had the 
OG Callas Caviar. Now, a lot of people, this might be on the bottom of their list, but to me, this is a true, true iconic piece of Swedish snacking. Second, we had the, the Dime Chocolate, the small fun pack, as you might say. Super good. I'm sure everyone will like this. And, drum roll, the winner is the Dime Marabou Collab. The official best Swedish snack for the 2020 Swedish Snacks Awards. That's a wrap for this Swedish Snacks video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I've got more of these snacks videos for like Cambodia, New Zealand, Japan, everywhere in the world. So yeah, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.